Hallucination, huh? Hungry! I try to travel to eat many foods from different cities. But why do you need guilt to eat anything? I cannot eat without guilt. Ah, light on water look like food. It's just illusion. But maybe real. I go jump in! No, I drown if I jump. But I hungry! Hungry! <laughs> suicide, eh? I've seen many people commit suicide because of gambling debts. What a shame. Yeah, unfortunately, hunger is also a fierce catalyst for suicide, I guess. Hello, Venom121 here. Welcome back. We are Let's Playing Final Fantasy IX, and this LP is back. I am back with this LP, finally. And, uh, yeah, I know it's been, for some of you, an eternity since I posted videos for this game, but... Uh, like I said, I was just slowly playing through it again. Uh, my stats are going to be a little bit different than they were um, before. I'm not as high level as I was. But as far as items and stuff, I should have gotten pretty much everything that I did in the last game I was playing. And uh, there's actually one thing I need to show off at the beginning of this episode. And talking about the clock stopping, but yeah, I actually used to think that you needed the gold flying chocobo ability to get this uh, this um, this item here, or this group of items. So yeah, maybe I can get it there on a chocobo. So yeah, let's go ahead and use a dead pepper. I used to think you have to fly to do this, but you don't. All you need is the ocean ability. But yeah, when you come out here on this ledge. And you press the uh, the menu key, it'll say, uh, it's higher than I expected. And so, yeah, you can feed him a dead pepper. And he will jump in the water. Yeah, I found a treasure on the bottom of the ocean. And we get 9 ore, 15 topaz, and a tiger racket, and a worthless card. So, yeah, any items that we had over 99 will get discarded, obviously. So yeah, it's definitely great to be back recording this game, but yeah, on all that we get the, uh, the Tiger Racket, which will uh, teach the Dispel spell. I guess I could work on Mini first for Ico, but yeah, the, the Tiger Racket I believe is the most powerful racket in the game. It's Wind Elemental, and uh, yeah, it's pretty powerful if you physically attack with it, full power from back row. And it teaches the spell to Iko. I don't believe that Garnet can actually learn to spell. Although she can equip it. But I don't think she can actually learn the dispel spell. So, uh, yeah, in this episode, I think all we're going to, besides that treasure, I think we're going to be doing some friendly monster and ragtime mouse hunting. I think that's what I was planning on doing. And before my computer crashed and burned on me six months ago, but... Well, well, you know, shit happens. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna meet you uh, north on the, uh, the what is it, the Lost Continent, Forgotten Continent, probably the Forgotten Continent. I think it's called. I can't remember the names of the continents, even though I just played through this again, <laughs> sort of. Whatever, Forgotten, Lost. I don't know. I I never, and the only one I can remember is the one I'm on, which is the Mist Continent. I mean, that's the one you're on for most of the game, so it's pretty easy to remember. But, um, yeah, I'll just meet you over there. Alright, as you can see, we are in uh, the Midane Suri area. There is a smaller forest over there, and there is a large forest right ahead of us right now. So, yeah, what we want to do is we want to go inside this large forest here. Damn it. Alright, here we go. And it took me a few times, but I finally, I think, got the encounter that I wanted. And... Here we are. This guy looks mean. He doesn't look friendly. Give me some ore! Mm. Uh, where is my ore? <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah, you can have some, man. We got plenty of reserve. He's probably gonna ask for some more, too. Thanks! Say hello to Nymph for me. Alright, we will, man. 
Yeah, we get a 20 ability points for encountering that guy and giving him ores so we can learn a whole bunch of abilities. As you can see. So yeah, that's why I had my party equipped with, you know, equ equipment that I just got from Chocobo Hot and Cold. Yeah, that way they can learn a lot of abilities very quickly. Of course, I had ability up on most of them as well, so definitely helps. So... The okay, ability up is done for Zidane. Yeah, I'm going to start calling him Zidane because I actually did look it up and that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. It's either Zidane. I've heard people say Zidane, Zidane or whatever, but Zidane, like the French uh, football player or whatever, sounds the best. I was calling him Zidane, but whatever. Auto flute. Anything better? Yeah, auto life. Auto life it is. Anything with hats, anything with armlets. Okay. See, I probably don't need a protect ring anymore. Where's Shiva? There it is. Actually, no, I better go with something that's worth more, seeing as I have ability up on her. Don't want it to go to waste. For the next friendly monster that's going to give us a butt ton of fucking ability points. Uh, maybe two abilities. Yeah, that'll work. Get those out of the way. Spells I probably won't use. Many of float, but they're there, I guess. And for Amaranth. Uh, he's got a shit ton of stuff to learn, so... High Tide, eh? Return magic, that's kind of a nice ability. Uh, anything that's worth more? No. Add status, I guess. And then for hats, we have... Guess we could go with this. Yeah, he needs a ton of ability points for counter for some reason, I guess. I don't know, really know why, but it's just the way it is. Yeah, Chakra will be learned pretty soon, and then I'll start working on the No Mercy ability with the Dragon Claws. But yeah, there's something else I want to encounter right here in this forest, if I can. Alright. Right now, we are actually in a forest that's pretty close to the, uh, the Aoife tree. So, yeah, we want to go in this forest here because we can encounter the next friendly monster. Or the Ragtime Mouse, whatever the game decides to give me. Alright, here we go. Is it the Ragtime Mouse or the Friendly Monster? It is the Friendly Monster. I might actually wait to do the Ragtime Mouse stuff until Disc 4, because that's when you ultimately complete the quest. So, I might as well get these as I can. The, these Friendly Monsters. And save that till later, because... Uh, there's actually a trick I want to show off with the um, Ragtime Mouse on disc 4, that way I can just kind of do it all in one shot. But yeah, we can't complete it yet because it is still disc 3 right now. Come on. But our little nymph friend here needs more! She needs more ores! She's a greedy little bitch! Fine. Chew on that. Wow, thank you! Give some to Jabberwock too. Okay, so yeah, Jabberwock will be the next one that we will encounter. Uh, the only problem with that is, is uh, well, we, it's an area that we can't get to yet. And we get an emerald. Do we already have one of those? I can't remember if I already have one of those or not. Do I already have an emerald? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's done. That's learned. Very awesome stuff. Yeah, almost working on... Yeah. So yeah, that's a really good way to um, get a head start on le learning abilities is to uh, use the um, friendly monsters because they give a ton of AP. No, they don't give you a Adrian Peterson. By the way, I'm recording this before the Packer game. 
And I'm actually, you know what, I'm probably just going to post this right away, but... Yeah, you know, I have a feeling the Packers aren't going to win. I mean, if they, if they can't stop Adrian Peterson, then uh, they're going to lose. That's, I, it doesn't matter how much freaking Aaron Rodgers can throw the ball. I mean, it's cold weather at Lambeau. you got to be able to run the ball. And uh, if you can't stop the other team from running the ball, you're going to have a long day. And the offense, your offense, on your side, is never going to see the freaking field if you can't keep him off the field. So, um... That's that's how I feel about that. I mean, obviously, I want the Packers to win, but I don't think they're going to. I think they're going to get upset by the Vikings, but oh well, shit happens. All right, now we're going to be heading to another location. Uh, instead of sailing there with my blue Narciss, I'm actually just going to go there with my Ocean Chocobo. And yeah, we're going to be going to the northwestern continent here, which I believe is called the... Uh, I don't know, I can't remember the names of these damn continents, but yeah, there's a certain forest around here that I actually want to go to to get another monster, so I'll be right back. Actually, on second thought, we can't get that one yet because we have to get another one before we can get that one, so oops. But we can go to a brand new optional area over here that we're not supposed to come to yet, but I figured, hey, why the hell not? Really, game? Really? One freaking step and I get a battle. Come on, man. Oh well, better be a new enemy. Or, yeah. These guys. Hello, flying fish. Whatever you are. The Pauls. Ooh. Counterattacking. I like it. Uh, Fenrir is probably not, well, I don't know if Fenrir is going to work on these guys. Wow, they're really kicking my ass right now. Jeez. Wow, they're immune to freaking... Wow. By using Gil, frick no, I'm not doing that. Hell no. This is quite annoying. These things are quite strong. Wow. Now you're gonna try and freeze us? Oh man. Jerk. Yeesh. Talk about annoying. That's a lot of experience, though. Good amount of gill. Anyways, where was I? You know, the whole point of using a chocobo is so you don't get into fucking random encounters, but the game likes to cheat. And this is one of my favorite areas in the entire game. Love the music track for this place. Yeah, this is Esto Gaza. And yeah, for story purposes, we don't have to... Well, we won't have to come here yet, but I'm going to anyways, because I like this place. Big ship. What big ship would that be? The star lives like we do. The Shimmering Island is proof of the path of souls. Yeah, okay, so they're talking they're still talking about souls in this game. So maybe we'll find out more about that kind of stuff later. Oh, that's good, man. I'm still as strong as them youngins. Uh... 
by chance what? Uh, yeah, we just came here by chance. What the, what the hell was that all about? Stars are the source of all life. We receive life from the stars and live our lives with them. This is the one place holy enough to worship the path of souls. The way to the Shimmering Island. Yeah, sure, why not? Those Vapals were kind of beating on us pretty good. Hmm. Interesting. Hello. Guys from Limbloom, huh? I'm just... No, no, don't leave. Go back. Come on, man. I got sucked into the frickin' door again. I'm just trying to go behind this lady. Wow. It's really easy to get sucked into that fucking doorway. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to explore the area. You know, search for, for hidden items, secret items, that kind of thing. Sheesh. Anyways, let's check out the shops here. Let's see what they sell. Yeah, you can buy mithril equipment and mithril spear. Oh yeah, get another one of those. Get a couple of these for amaranth. Maybe teaches a new ability. And yeah, we don't have any mithril rackets. Wow, talk about overloading on the freaking mithril equipment. Is that the only shop here? Okay, well this uh, this shop actually sells uh, different stuff later on in the game when we were supposed to come here. I was kind of hoping I could come here and get some stuff early, but I guess that is not the case. Yeah, we can get it like later on. We'll be able to get a new rod for Vivi, but uh, I guess not right now. All we can get is crappy mithril stuff. I learn the curse ability with that though, so I guess it's not a totally lost cause. Um, not the rack, it teaches the shell spell, I guess. Not that I'll ever use that spell in this game, but it's there, I guess. So, yeah, this is a very cool area. Um, let's talk to this move. Magrika, huh? We haven't received any mail. Uh oh. Didn't we just see this old guy on the inside? Whatever. Can we go over this way? I, I'm just curious. I don't know if we could do this yet or not. Oh, no, it's blocked off. So yeah, we can't do anything here yet, but it's nice to uh, stop by and take in the sights. Yeah, that sucks, man. I was kind of hoping I could get some new weapons here. Well, I did, but I was kind of hoping for some more than what I got. But that's alright. That's quite alright. Alright, I think I'm going to end the episode right here, actually. That is all for this episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. And in the next episode, we will abstain from any side questing and item collecting, because we've been on kind of item collecting and side quest overload for a few episodes. Uh, well, it hasn't seemed that way, I guess, if uh, you haven't watched the LP in a long time. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be moving on with the plot and uh, stuff like that. So there you go. This is Veteran Owen 21 I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Go Packers!